Okay, now let's uh, take this ring over to be printed. So we have two models in our file and we want to separate them because we want to print them separately obviously so there's a quick little way to do that. So what we'll do is we go up to design and we go duplicate and what it's going to do is going to duplicate this file and it says that copy of basic ring so now we'll erase this because the other file has both rings and then we'll rename it design we go under properties and you go to the name and we'll put in basic ring heart and we'll go save changes now let's uh, take our ring over and prep it for 3D so now let's take our ring over and see if it needs any more changes to be printed so we're gonna go through shapeways and we're gonna go since this is metal, we don't need it to be in color. So I'm going to go print 3D and continue printing. And if you already have your account, Shapeways account set up, then it should pick that right up. There we go. So the models come in. Now we have to wait and see it load up. So it's right now it's doing its auto checks. So we want to look in these materials. Stainless steel and precious metals and then also plastics. This would be good for a ring for kids as well. Okay. So the checks have come through and passed in all the plastics and as you can see in the plastic material it's nice and cheap this isn't a ridiculous cost so for those of you who don't have a lot of money you want to have a plastic ring it's a good start well let's see how it comes in in the stainless steel see these are all really good prices too past all of these so you can do stainless steel matte gold steel polished bronze, polished nickel, and polished gray steel. So that's pretty good. Well, let's see. And in the precious metals, when you start in the silvers, it's not too bad either. You can definitely get something pretty cool. Raw brass and polished brass is pretty cheap too. So yeah, you have a lot of opportunities. Obviously 18 karat gold and platinum is not gonna work but uh, that's fine you can do plated gold if you if you're into any of that so that's great we've got uh, we've got a ring and uh, it passed inspection so I'm going to click save changes and I'll be able to save that uh, print that out at my leisure so now in the next video we're going to try and set up to print the bolt ring. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.